full symmetry across the spectrum of clouds. Um, with that, I'd, I'd like to uh, bring up Michael Crandell, the CEO and founder of RightScale, and uh, he's going to talk, talk to us about how RightScale can use a system like that. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, you guys. So, I think, I don't know if your system's warmed up or if you need to kick the tires there, yeah, but... Get, get that going while we start. While yeah. we're doing that, yeah. So first of all, congratulations. Oh, thanks. This is really thanks. cool stuff, and, and we're really delighted to be part of the announcement. So tell us about RightScale. Who's using it? Why are they using it? What problems are they trying to solve? Well, you know, RightScale is a cloud management platform that runs on top of infrastructure clouds. And uh, what we're really trying to do is create ease of use and simplicity for people who have to deal with those messy things called servers and storage and IP addresses and help with automation, with the same business agility that we were talking about, and delivery of all of that in a format where you can maintain control. You know, so you talked earlier, I like metaphors also, and you gave the analogy of DLL hell. Uh, and I would like to hearken back, there was an author hundreds of years ago named Dante. And if you remember his work, famous work, Dante's Inferno, there were seven levels of hell. <laughs> so we like to think that we take care of some of those lower levels of hell in terms of making that easy to use. And now with Cloud Foundry, you've taken care of the upper levels. It doesn't count when we create some of those levels and then come back and fix them up, though. Right, I just, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told that a couple of times. So uh, does a, does a, how does a pass change your offering? Does it, does it reduce some barriers to entry? Does it bring you more customers in? Is, you know, is, it, is a pass and right scale customer base compatible with each other? Absolutely, um, and one of the things we're excited about is that this offering really speaks to developers. Uh, I think RightScale has certainly got its audience of developers, but also system administrators. So what this is really combining is the ease of use that developers seek with the control that system administrators might want if they're for, you know, have it your way, pass, running it wherever you want. Some people are using public clouds quite happily, but they want to supplement here and there and this really preserves the freedom of choice that's been a big part of what RightScale's been about since so, the beginning. So I, as a developer, can then actually operate with the exact same tools we've been using now, but through RightScale's technology, can actually be controlled by an operations group that says, okay, Derek can't get too crazy. We'll give him this much capacity. He can do these types of things. That's something. exactly right. And, and somebody gets to say, oh, let's create a cloud for dev and test. They don't have to file a ticket to get some servers. They just come to, to Michael and say, I want a dev cloud, I want a test cloud, I want a cloud that's this big or that, or, or that big. And, and they have their cloud and they can sit their cloud next to their existing app. Do you want, let's, uh, let's transition into your demo and why don't you talk about sure. uh, what you guys put together here. So uh, one of the things we're really excited to announce today is um, uh, on the free edition of RightScale, a server template that runs Cloud Foundry, the cloud, uh, the actual pass part of Cloud Foundry. Um, and in the first instance, running on Amazon's cloud. Oh, okay. So here we are in RightScale, and you could think of this as RightScale is a SaaS platform. It's a web-based SaaS platform, and Cloud Foundry, of course, is open source. So we think of it as free SaaS plus open source here. And what you would do is you'd come in here and go to the library of server templates. And as I say, that's available today. You can go to RightScale.com, sign up for our free edition, and there's our Cloud Foundry all in one, meaning that in this particular version, all the services of Cloud Foundry uh, run in uh, a, single, uh, a single server. And so the same thing we were seeing when we were looking at Cloud Foundry, the service, versus running locally here, you've put that together for RightScale we've customers. We've put all this together. And I'm gonna, what you would do is go in here and just say import. RightScale has many, many server templates, a lot of solutions, so I'm importing that now to my account. And uh, there it went ahead and do it, uh, did it. A couple of points about this. So you can see that uh, it's already taken care of a base OS image that Cloud Foundry is running on, in this case, Ubuntu 10.4. Um, you can go to the scripts area, and actually these are all in complete source form. Look at all the scripts that load at runtime, which have been pre-configured for you, including here's the Cloud Foundry install. And what's important about running under RightScale is the uh, inputs are flexible. So we've extracted out variables you would have when running Cloud Foundry uh, as, an, as a pass application uh, to then run other applications on. 
So I'm going to come over here and go to the actual deployment and launch this. And it's as simple, uh, I'm going to launch this one in the European Union region of Amazon. So I'll click, click the launch button. A bunch of these inputs have been predefined. I can change them if I like. And I'll say launch. And so what's happening right now, Cloud Foundry is now being launched in the European region of Amazon as we speak. And so you give customers a tremendous amount of control over how that's being managed and operated, but me as a developer, do I change anything except my VMC target or my STS server pointing target? Everything's exactly the same. In fact, uh, this will take a few minutes to boot up, so what we've done is we already have some running. Oh. In fact, here's one in, in the east region and here's one in the west, and we've set up a couple of clients. I like to use the cloud also to run the client, so I'm going to click into the one in the west and, and run a uh, run a shell, and here we are. So if I type VMC info, there's the info I've already registered, and I can do, uh, I can actually upload an app from here. I won't do that right now because I think we're running a little short on time. But I can upload an app from here, one that we've built earlier, and I think that one's not running here now, but I had one running on the, uh, on the other server, and what it actually loads is this. So it's that quick to just download the app to a client, upload it to the cloud that we ran uh, earlier today, and there you have it. And you have several of these running, right? I think you guys uh, sent an email to me, there's a CF one, and, and I, can I can push an app then, right? So if, if I'm a developer, You'll just tell me, here's the target, here's your credentials. Well, let's just go do it. We have time. Deckel, keep your card down for a second. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll, I'll say VMC target, and I think it's api.cf. Is it cloud lord? Cloudlords.com. Is it lords or lord? Lord. Dot com. Let's see if that works. And if it doesn't, it'll tell me. I Oh, well, there we go. So, so this is actually pretty pro profound. So you took our open source code base, early edition, mm -hmm. with lumps and bumps and repo changes and everything else, and you turned that into a right scale server template in a couple days? That's right. Well, you came to us, what, about a week, 10 days ago, and we started but, talking, and then the real work started just a few days ago. Weekend, yeah. Special yeah. shout out, by the way, to our guy Alex Pop. Uh, in RightScale, who did a lot of this work in combination with your team. Who, by the way, even though he's in the UK, he works 24 hours a, d a day. We <laughs> thought, oh my God, we only get to see Alex in, in the evening. It's like, no, Alex works. He's, a, he's on around the clock. He's on all the time. So we were able to take your source, pour it into a server template, which you can think of almost like a, a playlist in iTunes of all the scripts that need to run. And you're uploading an app right now. Yeah, I think Alex actually read the system, so it's a brand new, fresh paint. So I'm going to try one of the big apps, Pet Clinic, in terms of it's a, a big app, and we'll push it out where we're talking and see if it works. But essentially, Good. I did a VMC target, and I did a VMC push, exactly what I've been doing before. Good. Yeah. Well, while that's uploading, if you want to switch back to me, I've now got the wget working on, on my screen. So I'm actually pulling that app down that I talked about. And if I do a VMC push here, Yes, run it from the current directory. Call it right scale. Leave the name alone. Yes, it's a Sinatra app. Let's give it 256 megs. And yes, we'll bind MySQL to it. And leave that service name the same. So now from the client that I showed you, that app is also being pushed up at the same time. And that's the one that paints that nice screen. Very cool. Yeah. So, and one more thing I'd like to show yeah. is where this is going directionally, if I could, just yeah. in a minute. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen this one yet. Well, where we're headed ultimately is that uh, to be able to expand these services out of a single server. And so all I wanted to show is uh, this is not released today. This is where we're headed. But the same services that you talked about earlier can be spread across multiple servers, multiple server templates that all launch in concert and then you get the resiliency and redundancy that you might want as you graduate to a bigger deployment. But if we leave that up there for a second, this is a, you know, for our development team, the way you know, we started on our laptops, we graduated to small clouds, now we have a bunch of uh, dev and test clouds out in the cloud. And this is you know, roughly the configuration, we might tune them a little bit differently, but roughly the configuration 
that we as developers use for you know pretty decent size dev and test clouds that we develop our software with. So this this is huge to go to these uh, cloud foundry clusters. Right, you'd yeah. be able to pop one of these up in a public cloud, in a private cloud, so the full array. Very yeah. impressive. Cool. Very, very good. Yeah. Thanks Thank guys and All right. congrats Thanks, again. Michael. Thank yeah. you. So, it's a great example of what, you know, Great technology companies can do when you enable them with, with you know, big media open source projects like Cloud Foundry. Um, 